Hello everybody, this is Xenokite 5543 welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This part we're going to be heading... Last time we picked up Usoya, a new member of the party, and this time we're going to be heading back to the blue planet from the moon. We're done with our business on the moon for now. We've got to go back to the blue planet for a bit. Because we've got plot stuff to happen that needs to happen. I feel like I shouldn't read that as screen. Ah! Tower of Babel? We're late. What? The giant of Babel will appear. It's terrible! Blast it! Can't we do anything anymore? What's that? Here we are! We dwarves shall fight for the Mother Earth. Lally-ho! I cannot be resting while you're fighting. Count me in. Watch out! Here I come! Yes! Hey! Long time no see, man! Our elder removed our petrification! This war is not yours alone. It involves all the creatures on the Earth. Hey, a paddle and are fine. That's good. Cecil! Let me show you the courage you've taught me. Yay, everyone is fine, except the Pella. Pella is still gone. But everyone else who's been in our party is fine. Everyone? The giant is intimidated. Now, we must get inside of the giant of Babel and destroy its control system. I see. So we destroy his core. Please, Sid. Go near its mouth. Who's this? Fusoya from the moon. Moon? Moon? Can you or not? Who do you think I am? Leave it up to me. Ah, uh, Sid and Fu Sid and Fu's voices are not that distinct, which I'm just realizing now. Oops. Now, hold on. And we are inside the giant of Babel.
Time to make our way forward. That's kind of like the tongue. Now we're in the neck. Very small screen. And welcome to the real part of the dungeon. You know, we could have had encountered before, but this is the real dungeon. Also, this music is great. Everything here is a machine, by the way, so I'm actually going to want to equip a Thunderclaw. Ow. Edge might need to be in the back row. Can you stop beating up Edge? Virus is fine. We're gonna save your MP, because you don't have that much. I just wanted to edge shield. It's just a machine. Edge is just so good. With that Thunderclaw. There is only one enemy here that is not a... Giant. That is not a... Machine, so... Pretty much it. Leave that Thunderclaw equipped, because... Every other enemy here will take double damage from having the Thunderclaw on, which is definitely worth it. Anyway, there's a Cure 2 there. Oh no, battle. It's a Searcher. Now, you could do a grind off this fight, but I'm gonna not do that. Um, I think I can just fight here. It's a lot of damage, but this will summon one of these things. We're going to change rows. And cure to everyone, just to keep people up. We're going to keep carrying with you because you have limited MP and I am saving it for things. Yeah, Cecil's going to take out the Searcher because of the Avenger. But Edge is not going to quite take out that. Guy. We can toss a virus, I can afford it. Rydia's got so much MP at this point. Like, MP is no longer a concern. And that's the Mac Giant. You can summon those repeatedly and get a lot of experience from those. As we saw from that fight, that was worth almost 10,000. For, for everyone. But... There's a better grind in here. Hey, it's this grind again. We're getting really lucky with this fight. I'm just gonna berserk up Edge. Just burst. Edge takes a lot of damage, but he also does a lot of damage. 7,000 damage, almost, in that one hit. Yeah, this place is good for experience. I do think I'm going to heal him up a little bit, though. Just refill Edge's HP. Get an Ether 1 there, that's very handy. I'm gonna head over this way, because there's more chests. Just a solo one of these guys. So, you know, not that exciting. We'll probably die with this virus. By themselves, these guys are worth just 6,200 apiece. So. But you can continually summon them off that one searcher fight, so you can get that to build up over and over again. We get samurai arrows, which are actually quite good, but. Yeah, we're fine. I don't really need those. Searcher with two machines. I'm gonna keep pairing with you. We're gonna focus on killing off other things first. What's the summoning? 
These guys will summon horsemen. Horsemen are not that great for experience. You're not very exciting. And they are kind of punchy. You know what? I am going to give you use up a cure too. Yeah. Edge, Berserk will one-shot that searcher. You can save your MP, because we're all zerked up. Okay, your Cure 2 is not as good as Rose's Cure 2, because I have you outfitted for Black Magic. 8,900 more experience. We're getting lots of experience here, honestly. If I wanted to, I could be getting even more, because Boo doesn't really need the experience. And he's not contributing that much to the fights other than being an extra body to take hits. But, you know, it's fine. I don't mind... I'm not getting quite the full experience, it's total, like, I don't need it. This is a little rude. Just a little bit. I've got to attack with Edge, though, because Edge does so much damage here. <laughs> Over 5,000 damage? I have to. And there goes the max end. Keep giving me experience. That's enough. Yay, cabin! If only there was a save point to use that at. I'm gonna go north first because this is just treasure. Life Potion. Wow. So worthwhile. It's not like I have more than 50 of those. And we have Searcher and two Beamers. It summons Horsemen. Which is not what we want. Beam is a 10% of HP damage. It's all percentage based. It's not going to be that scary. So don't worry about beam too much. 10% of max HP, I should say. We can destroy the horsemen. And we can summon more. We can infinitely summon horsemen if I really wanted to, but I don't really want to. And Cecil will take out the Beamer for me, or the Searcher for me, so that's nice. That hurt. Rude. Go away. Thanks, Edge. Hey, Rydia just went Quake. That's good. Quake is a very good spell. As I demonstrated with Boo, but Rydia having it is amazing. It's just so good. I mean, she has summons, which do kind of the same thing, but Quake is cheaper than the summons. Summons are very expensive. MP-wise. Oh good, a horseman and a Mac giant. I'm still going to focus on fighting here with you, because you can one-shot the horseman. And then you change rows. You heal us up. You don't do anything, Foo. You're just here to be another warm body, kind of, at the moment. Because I am saving your MP for a very specific fight that I'm hoping we find. because it's the best grind in the game. That's not the right way. This is the right way. And we can start seeing that fight on this floor. The passage. This is the floor where we can encounter... Not this fight. This is not the fight I'm looking for. Just get rid of that thing. Beamer, goodbye. I'm just going to do 
you're a Mac giant, you can have a virus. I just want to get Ed going. I don't care. Ow. Goodbye, horseman. We are running a little low on Rosa MP, which is a little bit of concern. Goodbye, Mac Giant. Who managed to gain a level? Yeah, who saw y'all gained a level? That's impressive, considering. Everyone else doing fine? Well, Cecil could use some more health. More health, yeah. I'm actually going to use you to heal yourself up. And some other people up. I'm gonna be kind of full health. If I do stumble into this fight. This is not exactly the fight that I was thinking about, but this is the one enemy that is not. Oh gosh, that's all the Avenger. That's actually really bad. I just remembered that. Avenger is real bad, because that happens. What we want to do with this thing is weak it. Weak is good. I'm going to take the Avenger off soon. Yeah. Okay, weak. Now it won't be doing any more stuff. This thing is worth 8,300 experience for everyone. That's de pretty decent, you know. It's not terrible. I'm gonna have to heal up Edge a bit. And I'm going to take the Avenger off, actually. We're gonna go to the, you know, the, the Ograx might actually be good here for Mac Giants, but I'm going to go to the Light Sword and give you a shield. I think Aegis is good. Yeah, Aegis is fine. This crest is trapped. But that's kind of okay. That is perfectly fine. You sit here and wait. Yeah. Thunderclaw just absolutely wrecks the last arm here. Just 1700 experience per. And another elixir. We're gonna move on. This might be the fight we're looking for. I have no way of telling yet. What we have to do first is, this might be the, be the grind fight here. What we have to do first is get rid of the demons. Which is basically Edge's job. And then we want to figure out my turn order here. So Fu, you, you, Cecil, and then edge. Means I want to take the Thunderclaw off, for sure. I'm going to go Boomerang and um, Mute Knife or something. We want to go for some not great mat weapons here. We're going to do that, just to do some damage. That was a bit more than I would have liked, actually. This is not the fight. Okay. In that case, I'm going to weak the Searcher. And get rid of it. There's two fights here, and they both have the Searcher Beamer thing, but this is the wrong one. We're going to get rid of the Searcher immediately, though, because I don't want to deal with it. And now I have to reset up Edge, but that's okay.
We wanted the other the other enemy that can spawn in that formation from the searcher. Hi, Mac Giant. We also need more MP for Rosa, but that's a separate issue. If I wanted to, I could be using the Ogre Axe here to do extra damage to this Mac Giant, but I don't really care. Because, Edge. Honestly, if we make it to the save point before the grind, I don't mind that either. Because, right over here, there is a save point. Which means I can use this and get all my HP and MP back. Yay, Rosa is no longer low on MP. Anyway. I feel like I should go over the grind fight. I may not do the whole grind. Because it's like... Honestly, I don't know if we need it. I'm just going to say there is an encounter there where... It, that you can find on this floor and in the next floor. With... A searcher and two beamers to start. And once you kill the beamers and punch the searcher... A... D-Machine will get summoned. And all you have to do is weak the D-Machine with Foo, hit, and then hit the D-Machine and life glitch it, and it's worth... And you can just keep summoning those over and over, and it's a great grind. But, you know, we're already in the upper 40s. We're in the mid... We're already in the mid 40s on levels, so I'm not super, super worried about experience. I'm just gonna call this a part here. Next time, we will continue moving through this dungeon. If I see the grind fight, I might stop to do a little bit, but we don't really need that much. I mean, how much experience do we need to need on Lydia, who needs the most experience? Okay, she's a bit far away, but, you know, she's got 650,000 out of her 1 million that I would like her to get eventually. So, you know, not doing too badly. Oh, uh, next time we'll keep moving on from the save point. I'll see you then.